Hey, check it out. It's Adam and Kate, and we are down at Platform Calgary, which is that crazy looking building on 9th Ave. Platform Calgary has been helping entrepreneurs and startups set themselves up and accelerate fast. So if you guys want to come check this out, these doors open in June. See you there. Hey, it's Adam and Kate, and we are down at the Platform Innovation Center in downtown Calgary, which is that crazy cool building across from the public library. And we are getting a sneak peek from Pam McQuillan, who is the director of the Innovation Center, and Terry Rock, who is their president and CEO. So come on in. Let's, let's go. go. Hi. Hey. Uh, welcome. Nice you. you as well. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Cheers. Hi. Uh, Welcome to Platform. This is amazing. <laughs> right. It's pretty cool, eh? And you got a little co cafe here. We yes. do. Uh, awesome. Well, um, I'd love to give you a tour. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that is, you know, maybe this isn't the sexiest thing anybody's ever said, but the biggest <laughs> innovation that we're bringing to Calgary is a front door for innovators. That's yeah, like, that's not the sexiest a, thing a, it isn't, no, <laughs> but, uh, that, has, that is actually the biggest difference we're making is what you've got here is one place. If you're trying to get something off the ground, you can walk through that door and right here behind here, you're going to get great coffee. You're mm -hmm. going to get lo local food, maybe local beer uh, <laughs> if you're so inclined. Um, and most importantly, you're going to get on track. There's going to be people here smiling, waiting to greet you and help you figure out what's the next step on your journey. And then the great thing is, there's no barrier to walk through that door. Uh, we've got public open space right here. You can come in and just get started right away. I so, see. Uh, I think that is sexy. Okay. To there the, you well, go. Okay. Now that you've added to it, right? Maybe. To the entrepreneur <laughs> who's like, how do I, how do I get started? How do I, you know? Yeah. An open door yes. and a connector right here yes. with coffee and beer. Yes. With the potential of it being activated when you actually walk in and get your yeah. coffee too. Oh, see. Picture some pitches happening on the pitch stage. Oh my God, oh. where were you guys five years ago? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That exactly. is sexy. Yeah. That is sexy. I, awesome. I think it is, 100%. So let's, where's the next space? That we yeah, have? so front, uh, front desk is here. Now we're moving into, uh, this is still all public open space. So when it's not active, it's going to be uh, for events, it's going to be available to have a coffee. Um, I would love to see, you know, a group of four uh, entrepreneurs who have the day job and they come in here and there's a booth over there and they're, it's like 7, 7.30 a.m. to nine. Every day they come, they work on their business, they go off downtown to their job, they show back up here at five o'clock, right. put another hour mm -hmm. and oh, guess what? There's a group of investors that happen to be having uh, coffee as well. So yeah. they might need some advice and then, oh, there's somebody who's a software developer and we need some advice over that. That's the community that we're trying to create. I love it. None of that is going to be programmed in the sense that it's like a formal program, no. but it's a community that is all about making those kinds of things happen. And that's what you get by just having this barrier free place to walk in. Right? There's Opportunity so, of connection. Right? Constantly. There's so much put into the design of it to facilitate yeah. those those opportunities. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well and we're setting up for an event right now. So as you can see we're in event mode. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so we're gonna have a couple hundred people here this afternoon. It's an investor reverse pitch. So we're making the investors pitch their fund to our founder community. Ooh, so we got I, I think we have that. nine investor groups pitching and we have about 150 founders that are going to be here listening and getting connected to the investor community. Because let's be honest, that's a that's an intense relationship. Yes. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. it's not just a matter of like, I'm going to take money from anybody. Like, yes. Right. We, Absolutely. We're going down a path together. So yeah. we got to like each other and we got to have a vision. And Absolutely. ecosystems move faster based on connection. We, we, we talk about it, you know, the system moves at the speed of trust. Speed of trust, Stephen Covey. And how do you how do you get to meet each other? How do you build trust? You have to know each other. Totally. Yeah. So we start that this afternoon. We're yep. one of we're our awesome. first big events actually that we're amazing. that we're in soft mode right now. So yeah. That's amazing. Um, th so the next thing I'll I'll take you to, to see is uh, the KPMG pitch stage. So the other sort of thing about coming together and being a founder and trying to get something off the ground is 
there are those moments that you have where you need to build support, where you're saying, this is what I'm doing and I need a community behind me. And so how does that happen? It's always some kind of a pitch of some kind. Right. Right. I'm pitching myself as an employer. I want you to come work for me. I'm pitching myself as an investment. I want you to invest in me. So we have created the KPMG pitch stage right here that is all about those moments where you get to tell your story to the community to build support for what you're doing, whatever it, it might be. Yeah. So why don't we go up and take a look uh, at the pitch stage. One of the things I love about this was that you made it accessible friendly. Yes. yes. Right? Yes. So, you know, very cool, the layout and the dynamic, but you made it accessible friendly for, for people who might be in wheelchairs or need help. So anybody, yes. anybody can anybody. pitch. Absolutely. There's, yes. there's inclusivity here. Yeah. Yes. So there's the, there's our lift right there built right in. Amazing. Yeah. You really thought it out. Yes. So this I, is where the magic happens. Right? Exactly. <laughs> this is so this is my line. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> All right. Who's with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so we uh, and what's what, again? So this is all public space. Uh, about four hundred ish people can be in that one contiguous event, sort of part of the same happening. Not all of them immediately looking at the person on the stage. Um, but if you've ever been to a pitch event of any kind, you know that there's the people that are staring intently and then there's people who are doing deals in the back and we've built <laughs> right. this place knowing that that was, that was gonna happen. The other thing that's really important to us in this, in this uh, place was to make innovation transparent. So that's why we wanted to bring people up to the second floor and have glass so you can look in and see, okay, there's actually something happening here. Just make that, um, easy for the public to engage with. Mm -hmm. So you can come in here any day, have a coffee, sit down, have meetings, you know, do your thing. Um, it's so inviting. Yeah. You need a quiet corner, go work from up there for two hours in the morning before you go to your job, yeah. right? Or work downstairs or whatever you need. Yeah. Oh, this is so just one, of, one of Pam's big challenges <laughs> is to turn this into like just the go-to place. So it's yeah. the easiest place to have an event if you're, right. if you're trying to do this stuff. That's our goal. Yeah. Easy, right? Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and I love the windows, like all of the openness. So people walking by are like, well, what's going on yeah. there? How, mm -hmm. can that's I just walk in? And that's what we've right. been getting for months now is the, the people peeking, peeking in going, in. what are you doing? What are you doing yeah. there? <laughs> yeah. We have, we have Curious Calgarians as one of our core audiences. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Because, so, yeah. you know, when you're, if you're leading for creativity, you kind of need to be behind the scenes arranging the sofas just so like engineering yes. opportunities for collisions to happen and then just kind of like yeah. stepping back. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. But then in an hour later, there's an event happening. Right. Right? Yeah. So it's so dynamic. Out. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And we yeah. talked about that a little bit, like even in your design and I know guys are still building and still finishing up, but you've created it and made it dynamic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everywhere is, is thought out. Right. And that just speaks to innovation. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I would also say that um, one of the things you'll see is that the building actually has features and we'll talk about them that that encourage those uh, co connections yeah um, okay. it's long and narrow and uh you know to get a coffee you got to walk by a lot of people yes. yeah and to the racetrack right you do the loop and so many so many co like corporate companies set up they're like coffee station here coffee station there and you, people they're not yeah. forced to bump into each other but right? you know what you know what that reminds me of the calgary culture of plus 15s yeah. So right. many deals happen. Absolutely. In the That's when you're yeah. connected, right? right? That's right. Yeah. I used yeah. to love walking through there and bumping into yeah. people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what have you been doing lately? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Totally. Best yeah. part. All right, well, show us upstairs. All right. right. Uh, I think we're going to go this way. Sure. Yeah. This is, if you want the standard tour, this is it. This is the standard. The standard. <laughs> One of the things that you'll see on these walls as, uh, as we get into the next phase is storytelling about tech in Calgary and innovation in Calgary. Wow. Amazing. So we track now over 900 companies that are kind of in this sector in the city, and you're gonna see their logos around here. We're gonna celebrate them and the people that are behind them. That is so cool. The idea yeah. of them coming and pitching on the pitch stage and then seeing their logo up here and we've been a part of that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Come full circle. Yeah. So we're trying to really demystify what's actually happening in the in the sector. Okay, so we'll go through here now. 
So this area here is our startup zone. This is where we'll have the hot desking for any of our startups that are working with any of our programs or our program partners. They'll come and hang out in this space. Cool. Excellent. Oh, you can hear deals going on right That's now. Right. Yes. That's right. That's Things are so always cool. happening. So they just show up, they plug in where there's a spot and they get to work. Yeah. Yes. Well, we have partnerships. So we, there's, I think, um, we mentioned we have over 70 partnerships with various providers of various programs. One of the most exciting sets of partnerships we have is with global accelerator programs. So plug and play, uh, SDG Ventures Thrive, 500 Global. These are programs that are now operating in Alberta. They are globally connected um, and are, we really are trying to create um, uh, an opportunity for Alberta based or Calgary based companies to be part of those programs. Yeah. So they might have, you know, 15 companies here um, from Alberta and all around the world in for a program for three months. We now have a place for them to do that mm -hmm. and be part of this community right away. That's perfect. Well, yeah. You know, if you go to a networking event, you just come hang out here yes. as much as you can. Absolutely. As as you can. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then you can, yeah. you can learn your lessons learned from other startups that yeah. are also working in here and work with them. Right? Yeah, no absolutely. need to trip and fall yourself. No, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Figure out how they did it first. Yes. <laughs> no, that's a big part of how things go faster is yeah. that you learn from experience and you have mentorship built in. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Wish we had had some of that. Right? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the things I wanted to point out is that the, this Modular, modular walls, walls <laughs> are uh, from a Calgary company named Dirt. And this is something that they became sort of world famous for this uh, modular office construction. And no this kidding. is where, you know, we get to have this dynamic space where this is a boardroom for now. Um, maybe in the future it'll be, yeah. you know, we'll change it around. That's right. Um, and you'll notice too, as we're walking through the ceiling heights. So because we do have a park gate above us, it goes from your regular ceiling heights, and as we walk all the way around, we will get up to that 20 foot ceiling, ceiling height. So, yeah. yeah. How does it change as we go through? Uh, so, our, this is um, an area right now where we expect to have our pillar team. This, these are um, professional service firms like accountants, lawyers, real estate support, marketing support. Uh, we have a program where these great uh, Calgary companies want to give back. They're sponsoring us, and then they're offering. Uh, office hours right here so basically if you uh, i have a legal question well twice a week you know faskins uh will have somebody here for a couple hours and you can book time with them and just get on the break that's amazing yeah mm -hmm. yeah we'll have our loop booths scattered throughout so yeah. these are an edmonton based company um climb in. is it open yes Give it a pull pull yeah pull. Ooh. climb in we have a sit down we're testing out a stand up right now to have that private space Yeah, and you yeah, can hear us, hear can you? No, no, nope. nope. not at all. Yeah. <laughs> You're on mute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. well, I like this. She works for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're enjoying this, eh? <laughs> it's like the nap pods. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. You can get a reclining one. And just it's your seat. futuristic I love it. This. It reminds me of Get Smart, where they have the cone That's of right. silence. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So, so cool. uh, we showed you the KPMG pitch stage. Um, here on my left is the KPMG Ignition Center. So we're very excited about this. KPMG um, uh, has become one of our uh, most important value partners. Um, the Ignition Center is for their large clients to help them get their mindset around innovation, to start looking at digital transformation, mm -hmm. to showcase uh, their clients to the community. And, but there's, there's going to be a working place. There's going to be staff here. This is only the second ignition center that KPMG has globally that's not in one of their office buildings, but is out in the community. The other one is in a similar organization to ours in Finland called Maria 01. It's in Helsinki. So we're really excited about this. When this gets turned on again, now we have another group coming here, not only startups, but, but corporate leaders will be part of this community. Really yeah. important. That's great. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. It's like that fresh car smell. It is. Right? <laughs> so you can see uh, lockers because we're, again, we're just going to have so many people in here on uh, 
temporary, you know, in for a while yeah. and needing a place so they'll have a place to stay. Or if you're in this, this classroom for a three month period and you just right? need somewhere to put your stuff and get away. Stop hauling it around. I haul that's my right. bag everywhere and it yeah. gets heavier and heavier. So that's yes. great. And you'll, as you'll start to see, there's a lot of steps to be taken in this place. <laughs> <laughs> there is. You paid to work out. We were, we were joking <laughs> that you could like just make lines, you can make a track. That's right. Yes. right? <laughs> This is another touchdown space. Um, yeah. There'll be hot dusting all through here. So if nice. you are in a program for three months, you can come out and have somewhere to work without yeah. being stuck in that classroom. That I also like, we we think a lot about events and, and so we think about hackathons and you know, we, we have, we run one, uh, one of the programs we run with Startup Calgary is called uh, Startup Weekend. And so basically you spend an entire weekend with a group of people building a startup. And there's coaches helping you do that and everything like that. So imagine that this could be where that happens and there's just like activity going um, all weekend in a place like this. It's a little bit away from the rest of the stuff so yeah. you can kind of concentrate activity. And all of our furniture we're bringing in is all on wheels. You can move it and yeah. however you need it. Right? Yeah. And yeah. this is so dynamic, right? Yes. Yeah. I love that. Can we go in here, Pam? Yeah, I think we, we can go in here. Yeah. Wow. Come on in. So what you see here is the bones of one of our two classrooms. Excellent. Uh, so we uh, we pulled about 600 people through various ways when we were coming up with the design for this and really tried to figure out what are the key uses we have. There's not a lot of places in this building that we actually said, okay, we're confident enough that the long term is yeah, gonna, we can, there's we drywall. can drywall it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This so is this one is more permanent. Yeah. We know we're gonna use this. We know yeah. we're gonna need it. Yeah. Totally. So two right. classrooms holding about 50 people each. Um, and, you know, we have everything from partners that deliver digital upskilling to sales training to, you know, you name it that, take, that it takes to build a business. Um, we've had one, a couple of our clients have said that it was like, one of our programs was like a nine week MBA. <laughs> this is a person who has an MBA, yeah. except it was on my business. So right? the only topic was my business <laughs> and uh, that, you know, we just think that that's over and over and that's a lot of learning. And so that's why we have classrooms yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. That makes sense. Yeah. I couldn't imagine having that for your business, like a whole team of people, like just focused on your yeah. success for nine weeks. For nine weeks. <laughs> you're, you're kind of, uh, three hours a day, you're, you're learning something and then the rest of the day you're implementing it with coaches as part of your, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If there's and not a class happening, you could rent it for something else. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I know I see you with a space like this. So right? I can dance. Yeah. <laughs> no. When you're done doing your pitch on your yeah. stage, you can come and dance and sit in here. <laughs> the celebration room. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and the other thing about this, you can see the corrugated. We just wanted more light. Yeah. Um, the, the, the windows are, are short, so they'll look short to you like when you're standing up. Yeah. Uh, so we have this. Uh, donut shaped building yeah. and uh, it has a hole in the middle yeah mm -hmm. and so that to make it energy efficient we actually have to half height the windows so that it makes changes sense. we go around yeah. 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 yeah and uh but what's really nice is if you're sitting in a chair next to them it's just beautiful light and yeah and if you're really sitting good. it's fine yeah yeah there's quite a few things that went into it where yeah. so underneath where you pull in it's actually suspended so we have in floor heating built into the oh, actual slides nice. as well yeah, yeah. there's okay. the thought that went around yeah. everything totally the building. yeah well, i love it it's so bright isn't it yeah, yeah it yeah. does feel bright yeah that's awesome all right so two classrooms now um you know there's there's the community uh that we have sort of the public space community but we have a lot of colleagues that work across these 70 organizations and this is going to be where we hang out as a, as a group of people. Um, ah, coffees, right? Grab your you know, lunch. group lunches. Yeah. 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 And, uh, so, Play some ping pong. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's perfect. Uh, you can also see, I guess one of the interesting things also is this, we have these, you know, the ability to kind of create a little pod right here. Uh, you pull up a rolling whiteboard, which you'll see over there is kind of one of my uh -huh. offices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pull up a rolling whiteboard over, and then now you have a meeting room. Perfect. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So, and that's, you know, there's, there's a hundred spots like this in the building. Oh, yeah. 
If yeah. you need to get up and out of the way, then you have somewhere else to go. To so is this corner. public space too, or no, this is only for this people? Is, yes. This is for our partners and people who are on programs. On programs, okay. And then, you know, events and things like that. But yeah. um, lots of bookable meeting rooms, in a more formal so, sense. I'm so impressed with the care you guys took to source all these little gems. Yeah, these subtle yeah. little things, right? Well, I'll tell you, we had a great uh, architecture firm. Um, we abbreviate it to 546, because <laughs> uh, it's like 546 in the other letter, other numbers, uh, out of actually Winnipeg. Uh, that design, did the big design on this building. And then um, and then uh, we hired them to, to do our part on the interiors. So that, like one of their big pitches to us was we need to, uh, they, they pitched us the pitch stage. They said, you know, you really need to pull these things together because that was just a slab. Right. And we decided oh. to take the big, big leap and yeah, do it. Yeah, cut a giant hole in our second yeah. floor and do it. <laughs> right? Uh, but yeah, there's an example, like I've been using that as an office. This is Terry's office. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Another oh, tuck away in the corner. Yeah, yes, right. yeah. Uh, those actually, that, those aren't my notes, but. Uh, <laughs> our stand up booth. Stand up booth. Yep. Great Edmonton Company. Um, we'll have and multiple then, of those around the space. Yeah, uh, I think they're really needed when you're in that open environment. You right. need to step away and take that private call. Those are so handy. They should have those in the plus fifteen. Yeah, they should. Yeah. Right? Yes. Great idea. Well, perfect. I love this idea of learning by osmosis. Right? You could have a group of investors yeah. or business people that have been doing this for a very long time, having very strategic conversations or finance yeah. or whatever. And then you're someone who's just learning, just listening and yes. just like Absolutely. soaking it in. Role right. modeling, so in the rainforest framework, having role models yeah. is really important. Totally. It's, a, it's, you know, to know it's possible because someone like you yeah. did it. Done it, right? Yeah. So uh, so this is an example of, a, of an area that we just left unprogrammed. Like we're just... Um, could be anything, could, yeah. right? We want to see how people to respond be. to the space. Right. Yeah. Uh, because of the volume we have like maybe this we could put a little black box theater in here that is a little bit more private to yeah. allow you know we've got 250s maybe a hundred 125 person theater could really work well for the community so we're gonna that's one of the things I that's vote for yes the future for more stages, so. yes right? <laughs> yes uh what's interesting also is a big challenge was running power uh, and light around to be accessible. So this is uh, this area is a lot of our back office. So our team, we're, we're going to be a team of about 40 people uh, that that both from the program side and then supporting the community and then running the building. Um, and so we had to carve out a little bit of back office space for us. Um, so here's our where our team this is where our out. action happens. We're really trying to uh, serve the partner community. So there's so much available for entrepreneurs in our city. Yeah. And it's hard to find. <laughs> it's going to be easy to find. <laughs> it's going to be easy to find, you know, starting this June, you're going to be able to walk in that door. Someone's going to greet the front door and Alberta Innovates, uh, there's trade commissioners, uh, product Calgary, yeah. you know, uh, clean tech, uh, group like Foresight, they're all going to be here um, and easily accessible. And so this, and then not only that, but then we create, you know, a bigger community yep. that starts to melt away the boundaries between the organizations that are all united in making our city a place for founders. Well, I love that. It's not a maze. Like you walk into so many offices, you take a left turn here and a right turn oh, here. Yeah, you can't get lost here. You can't go, you <laughs> just, just keep going, going and you're yeah. right back where you, you are. You yep. find everything you Absolutely. need, it's on this path. Yeah. This is the path to success. Right. Yes. I think Absolutely. that needs to be written on there the back. There you go. There you actually, go. Let's oh, talk I like about that. Success is this way. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we're actually <laughs> we're actually uh, just in the process of of creating our wayfinding um, plan. So so this is the last uh, stop on the tour. It's the last kind of separate hub that we have um, established and. The space is for investor connections. So, yeah. So very cool. We've got we've served our our startups. We've served the partner community. We've served corporate. We've served talent in the classrooms, and now we have a place for investors to connect. 
And they're all right here. Startups there, pitch stage in the middle. Yeah. Investors right here. That's perfect. So we are, what this, what this uh, space is designed to do, its impact will be more investors investing more money in more founders. They need to learn how to do it. Tech in Calgary is a new category to invest in. Mm. So we've actually got a program with now eight family offices that are supporting us financially and then also building uh, programming so that their family, the next generations can be part of the story of building Calgary's future economy. Yes. It's really great. Like the, the support we've had from the community philanthropically commercially has been tremendous. It's just like, we feel like we touch the nerve, people get it, uh, we don't have to sell. We'll just really want to be part of the story. Well, you're not only making connections, you're making better connections, yes. right? Yes. Right? So like now, now it's the, we're taking it to the next level. Now you've got an investor who's aligned. Yes. And now you're going to succeed better. Yeah. Faster. Right. So we call that uh, purposeful connection. Yeah. That is our, the sort of underlying piece is like, if we get rid of everything else, we can get someone, we know what they want, we know what they have, and we can make that happen. Um, that's a win. And so the more of those every day we do, mm -hmm. the better off we'll be in the long run. Yeah. I love I, it. I love, like the space is so transparent and it's so defined. People who like closed doors or like they wouldn't, they walk in and they, they'd feel uncomfortable. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you're going to attract the exact people that are you're just going to want to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or and what I hope is that that person, <laughs> you know, work from home. <laughs> like work from home, but come here to, to like actually yeah. run into, right. run into you your peers, right? Yeah. yeah. I think that's another, you know, something that's changed in the world is the, the, the notion that, uh, account, like actually one of the, we've had two inquiries from Calgary based, uh, startups that have grown that they now have offices all over North America and they want to bring their teams together to get to know each other. They want to do it here. It's perfect. I love it. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm born and raised Calgarian. I'm pretty proud that this is in my city. Yes. Yeah. Well, and Calgarians are part of it. Like that's another yeah. really important thing is that this has got we got a lot of public support um, behind this, and we see that as a real obligation to the city the citizens of our city to create this you know place for them. Oh, it's going to just add so much longevity to you know we do have a cyclical main industry yes. here, and this is going to be a differentiator for our economy. Yeah. yeah. It's so huge. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for that tour. It's just an amazing space. And so my last question for you is like, yes. where can we sign up? <laughs> <laughs> Go to platformcalgary.com okay. and get connected there. And then, you know, um, as in the, in the coming months, you're gonna hear more and more about us and the opportunities to participate. And if you share the mindset that you wanna build Calgary's future prosperity, we have a place here for you. Ah, oh, we're in. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad you could come see the space.